embrace the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Allow me to pray in the spirit, to pray in tongues, then I'll pray in understanding for you. Liaru ka sutla kantum bahaklo de laya. Sitila ka tulu enailu beganga lucifili ana gando sifili. Laida mo kilaubu jigele bata sitinia. I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. From now, the Almighty God will connect you to your destiny. Help us. You will never lack help us again. You will ask for one help and a thousand helpers will respond to you. The Almighty God will lift you up beyond your efforts, beyond your prayers, beyond your imaginations, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We are waiting to hear your testimonies, because God, by His mercies, always answers my prayers. Moments ago, while I was still in my private prayers, the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. Oh my God. Hear this one. It happened over this night. Why you were sleeping? You felt a very strong hand round your neck as if it was going to strangulate you. You struggled with it until you are able to shout the name Jesus before you were relieved. But ever since you woke up, you have been having severe pains around that neck. And when you checked yourself on the mirror, you could see some strange marks around your neck. Aha, you are the one. Let me pray for you. I do take authority in the name that is above every other name. Even in the name of he that called me to the ministry, the name Jesus Christ. I rebook the satanic demonic attack you had. I rebook it and cast it to the dry land. I declare you delivered and healed in Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen. It is done. And let's hear your testimony. Well, hear this one. By the time I describe it, the person concerned you will know the Holy Spirit is referring to you. The Lord told me, those trying to set you up for evil will be the ones that will fall into their evil setup. Aha, you are the one. Praise God. Lord, your word says in Psalm 124 verse 7, it says the snare is broken and we are escaped. Let it be the experience and testimony of this person that every snare, every trap against this person be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Give us a chat of your testimony also. Oh, praise God. Hear this one. Well, the Lord told me to assure you that your application for a scholarship for your education will be approved. So check your email box. You are going to have a confirmation of that testimony also. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. Someone is hearing my voice and in your mind you are saying, Prophet, you didn't hear anything from the Lord about me. Okay, let me describe your situation. You have been experiencing these radiating pains from your neck to your shoulder and at times to your waist and indeed at times to your legs. It's as if the pains are just moving around your body. Aha! You see that God has remembered you. Lord Jesus Christ has said in Matthew fifteen thirteen that every plant which my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. I arrest and I bind these radiating moving objects, these pains in this body. I rebook and I cast it to the dry land in Jesus' mighty name. You are delivered. Amen and amen.
in Jesus' name. To the glory of God, it's been over four decades that I've been having a close walk with the Lord in the ministry. And in this period of time, I've come across a lot of people, many of them, the crisis, the challenges, the problems they have in their lives, we are planted in their lives via their dreams. Dreams they ignore to seek for the interpretation. I, that's why I encourage you, don't ever ignore your dreams. Anytime you have a dream, as soon as you wake up from the sleep, from the dream, just give me a chat, narrating the dreams, and by the grace of God, freely, I will interpret your dreams to you. This is Charles Adebola's Ministries. Today is the 21st day that we are on this topic. 30 dreams that indicates success and victory. So somebody said, Prophet, what is the interpretation of this dream? I find myself drawing water from a well. Drawing water from a well. This is a good one also. It implies you will get results that will give you joy. Amen. Amen. May that interpretation be the live experience of every one of us from now, getting results that will give us joy. Have you seen Isaiah chapter 12, verse 3 before? It says, Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. With joy. I do decree in the name that is above every other name. From now, may you begin to experience joy. Joy are in levels. There is joy. There is fullness of joy. Then there is joy unspeakable. May you begin to experience joy. May you experience joy in a higher dimension. May you experience fullness of joy in every areas of your life. Then may you experience joy unspeakable in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I have the leading of the Lord to pray for you and your family. So get hold of the pictures you have of your family and yourself. It could be the soft copy or the hard copy of the pictures. I will use the pictures to pray for you and your family after this announcement. Please do listen to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, register directly with us for free so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. When you want to register for free, just give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God, it's about 12 midnight every day that will send out fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by 6 a.m., give us a chat. It's our joy to have it resent to you. Listen to this one. You need to read the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. There God commanded that you pay your tithe, and he said he will open the windows of heaven and pour blessing upon you. One of the blessings of paying your tithe is that God will give you supernatural ideas of what to do in life. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. We have several people paying their tithe to this ministry, and I want to encourage you to begin to do likewise. Have you experienced you prayed and fasted on an issue, and the answers were not forthcoming? When you have such experience, don't get discouraged. Rather, back up such prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. Sacrificial seed faith offering is an expression of your faith and desperation before God. I've encouraged you several times to read the book of Judges chapter 20, and I want you to do that today. There you will find that God told the children of Israel to go into a war, and He promised them victory. Do you know what? They prayed and fasted, they went ahead for that battle, and twice they were defeated, until the third time when they back up their prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. 
sacrificial secret offering provokes is a trigger of miracle. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism and we do solicit for your voluntary financial support. You don't have to be a multi-millionaire nor a billionaire before you can support this ministry. There are those who support us regularly with 10,000, 20,000, 50,000 and even more. The beauty of it is that you can support us with whatever currency being spent in the country where you reside, whether Naira, dollars, pounds, or euro. When you need the bank details to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. Have you gotten hold of the picture of your family and yourself? I do decree evil will not happen to anyone represented in this picture in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.